Uh, yeah. <laughs> having the best time right Santa Claus lives in Finland, so I've arranged to see his workshop. All my kids love Christmas, and so do I, probably the most. So I'm super excited. Oh, welcome to the Shukrit Command Center. Mm -hmm. This is a kind meter. The kind meter works like this. Uh, you think about the good things you've done this year, and then the kind meter will go up or down. Put your hands oh. on the ball, two hands. Like oh, it's very perfect. good, right? Let's yeah, that's very good. And now we need to wait. Let's see what's happening. Let's oh. oh my gosh! Look! Oh, he's look going up! He's going up! Congratulations! Oh my goodness! You've been so kind. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is what we got for the next few days. So I'm so getting tired. I gotta get going. Maybe I wish you'd take me so some home. Oh, it's uh, yeah. my turn. Okay. Yeah, you could go there too. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right, we're good. What happened? I think Mason's sick. I'm going to get him home. Really? Yeah. I just think it's really bizarre. Mason was sleeping in the car, so Scott takes that as a chance to just leave. And we flew across the world to come and see this place, and just in the middle of it, they just got up and left. Yeah. Oh, it's like a literal ride. Just now. Yeah. I had a yeah. You're so negative. I'm not. I even ever told you. You're like a negative. Negative. I'm a negative guy. Oh, my God. I think it's amazing for the kids. The Santa stuff. Yesterday was so cute. But you definitely were looking for a reason to leave. You could just say, this isn't for me, I'm Scott really wanted to come with us to Finland, so I don't know why he's just having such a negative attitude. I just want everyone to have a great time and a great experience, and he's just kind of putting a dark cloud over it. Mom, look what I'm doing. So this is your dream, and I like I want to be here for you, you know what I mean? It's just hard because I'm like trying to make everybody happy. Yeah. And it's like, you know, everyone has different things, and. I want you to be comfortable. I want Sophia to be comfortable. Yeah. She's always like, you know, you guys just have your ways and you guys, you know, and it's, it's hard. Like, she feels like she doesn't fit into everything sometimes. Mm -hmm. I haven't really had a second by myself to even have a conversation to make her feel comfortable. Well, she's never been in this life that we've been doing for 10 years. It's just a lot, and it's all on me every night, any day. Yeah. So I'm like trying to juggle everything and being on camera. Yeah. You know, it's a lot for her, and then... I mean, I told you before we left, I was happy to, like, call her and have, say... You know, no, it's not even about that. You're not doing anything. No, I know it's... I'm not doing anything except trying to make everyone comfortable. I'm saying I could have probably made her feel more comfortable yeah, about just... the filming stuff, which I said, did you want me to call her before? And you were like, no. I didn't realize it was about the filming stuff. Well, I'm just saying if you're saying that's one of the issues. Yeah. You, maybe uh, you should have. I'm sorry, because I know you had big expectations for this trip and want everyone to be happy, you know? I think, like, you put so much pressure on things to, like, make it perfect. I do that, too, but I've been not really doing that as much anymore. And you just think, like, oh, it's one more experience yeah. we have that we didn't have before. 